Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I will make this quick. I know it's late in the evening. I'm sorry to bother y'all, but there is some new updates coming on. That means there's new track, there's new impacts, and they have to be told, so I have to let y'all know what's going on before y'all wake up with surprises tomorrow morning. Now here is, according to Noah, the probability of tropical storm force winds. As you can see, uh, Bahamas, you, you will be in a good impact as far as 70, 80, even up to 90 percentile of tropical storm force winds. All this is going to move up. See, all this red is going to be purple tomorrow. Probably late tomorrow into Monday, but it will be. This is where it's going to be. So watch out for tropical storm force winds. Also for Florida, this is your impacts for tropical storm force winds for right now. It will be getting updated. Believe that because I'm showing not only... Uh, do we have possibility of hurricane? Here's a probability of hurricane force winds right now. Bahamas, you are in there. Keys, South Florida. But now uh, everything is getting even worse where this intensification is a probability. All the models are showing that everything is going up some. So let me go over everything with you. If, you, if you've never been to my channel before, please hit that subscribe button. I do videos every day of the week. I don't take any breaks. Plus, I always do an update in the afternoon so everybody knows what's going on. Now, if you notice, the storm surge has gone up two to four feet. It has been a difference. Florida Keys, Golden Beach, Bonita Beach, even up here in northern Florida has gone up to two to three feet. As far as your, your rainfall forecast for the next one to five days, everything is still the same except there's more of two to four inches up here in central Florida. And now there's a 10 to 15 inch spot in southern Florida. Be careful for that. Now, the guidance hasn't changed much from NOAA. He still, so, so far, has everything a tropical storm. I'm guarantee you this will update probably by tomorrow afternoon, if not tomorrow morning. But there you see the pink around here now. Follow this pink to this peach color around here by southern Florida. That is new hurricane watches. So that means it could be hurricane force winds or hurricane force conditions for the time being. Now, I haven't said that. If you go to... Uh, floridadisaster.org i will put the link in the description in this video this is a, a special needs shelter for anybody in florida if you need a shelter whatever county you in click here and it'll help you it'll help you uh, guide you where you can go and where there's availability to get a shelter for special needs also if you need a pet friendly shelter if you go to petswelcome.com uh, you'll see that they do get five-star ratings from lots of people. And if you need it besides Florida, you can pick where you need your shelter. But it'll let you know where you can go for pet-friendly shelters so you can be safe with your pets. Don't leave your pets at home in these conditions, man. Now, here's the new uh, aircraft reconnaissance. And if you notice, it has gotten a purple in there. And that's 64 to 83 knot winds that was picked up according to aircraft reconnaissance. And 64 knot winds is on the edge of a hurricane, but since it's just one, I guess he's not calling it. But I guarantee there is intensification that is coming in this storm. Now here's the new spaghetti models. Let me explain to you what you are seeing. If you notice right here, the nav gem over here on the left, and also uh, the NGX, they're also they're both uh, agreeing that this is going to curve out wide into the Gulf of Mexico. And it's going to do some rapid intensification right there. I'll explain to you the, the intensity in just a second. Also, if you watch the HMON, it broke the blue one. It also shows that the HMON is going, after turning in the Gulf, it's going to go towards, pretty much towards Tampa. I've always said Tampa. I don't know why, but it kind of looks like that's where it's headed this time. But what's going to happen is with, with this wind shear going over north over the storm, it's going to leave it in a dead a state for a while and not only does it give it a chance to rapid intensify but that also gives it a chance to kill it after that as well but there is a chance for some severity so i need to go over this with you now if you see what i'm talking about the ngx it has it going a possibility for a cat three and it's all the way to 116 knot winds and if you watch also that uh which one is this the light blue one i believe that is a ship it is hard to pick it up with all these models going on but it's been supported by multiple models that Cat 1 and Cat 2 is possible uh, out of this storm. So it's not just one rogue going off, even though Cat 3 is a little crazy. But Cat 2 is also a potential by multiple models here. Okay, I just want to point that out. Plus, if you look at the average, 
a lot of them, if not all of them, have it going to at least a Cat 1 hurricane. So you are probably looking at a hurricane here uh, after tonight, probably into tomorrow morning. Now here's the NGX2. It has it up to 116 knots. That is crazy Cat 3 winds. The average is 63 knots, which is which is still right below or right at hurricane because six hurricane is a 64 knots. But if you can see the high averages, I mean, who would argue that this would not be a hurricane, at least a Cat 1? Now, as you know, if you're new to my channel, you have no idea. If you go back and watch videos, I show people up to a month away sometimes about when these hurricanes come. And people get mad, but when they do show up a week, a week, week or two later or a week to 10 days, it, it does show up in the area. But now we get it more modified. And as you know, I've been showing you that we also have potential velocity anomaly not only for what we have now but we have a big bang uh, around the middle of, of november as well now if you notice we have another one coming as well at the end of november so this hurricane season is not done by far guys we have a lot of potential velocity in the atmosphere and it's not letting go now if you look a little bit further guys all the way into the middle of december middle of december we got another anomaly this season is not not done by a long shot. So let me know in the comments how, how many names you think we're going to get through. If you think we might actually get through the Greek alphabet, that would be pretty wild. Uh, now here's the GEFS, so you can see the ensemble of possibilities. And I'll explain to you what you've seen in just a moment. Just let me show you what the possibilities for these directions can go. Because right here is when it's in the Gulf. Right here is the point where it has free from wind shear, has nothing holding it back, nothing steering it. And it's down to 90, 9, uh, 979 uh, millibar pressure. Now that is hurricane force winds. So that's when it starts doing its rapid intensification. Now if you keep going, this is 72 hours away. The model does show intensification all the way down to 964 millibars. And then it starts moving towards uh, western Florida. But now right here, you'll see right at... Uh, right after past five days, right at six days away, uh, part of it shows that it does break away. So instead of going to Florida, it will come close to Florida, and then it will take a western turn into the Gulf of Mexico towards the Yucatan. I'm sorry, Yucatan, Cancun, any of y'all over there. There's a possibility that it could come here instead of following with the Euro. So the GFS and the Euro is showing two different models. And this is your 10-day look right there. And if you notice, within 10 days... We're already showing other issues of the other tropical storms, and we've been following this for days, if y'all remember. It's, but instead of 948 millibars, what it's been showing now, it's only showing 959 millibars, 956, down to 955. So it was 948 for the last couple of days. Now it's 955, and this is predicted to come in on November, guys, on the 19th. And then past that, there is, there's even more issues, but look at how it grows to 956 in the Gulf, and then it, look where it heads as it grows even bigger. So we really got to stay on top of this. That's why I do what I do for our forecast. People hate that. That's, that's what I'm about. I like to let people know early what can happen because lots of times it has happened. And so far, I think it's about eight hurricanes that I have predicted early. And it didn't come out the exact day from being so far away, but they did pop up. Now here's the Euro model, so you can see what to expect for tomorrow. It is showing that it will be a, somewhere around 988 millibars, and as it goes into the Gulf, it will be getting stronger. Okay, and we're talking probably later tomorrow evening, Monday morning, before you probably see it over there in southern Florida. But when it goes into Gulf, it shows it goes down to 986 and dies off. Now this is according to the Euro. So I'm, the Euro has not been on track since day one, guys. It really hasn't. And I know it's a, a good uh, intensity model once the forecast gets set in stone. But once it goes over land, it really confuses this model. And it's got been confused with Nicaragua and Honduras. And now it's being confused with what happens after Cuba. So it's really not on track yet. But anyway, I'll show you what happens to the system so you can kind of get an eye of what happens to the storm. Uh, what you're looking at here, this is the, the uh, deep layer wind shear. This is 200 to 850 millibars. So you can see what happens with the steering currents of whether this storm actually gets killed down. And if you notice, as, it's, as it passes over Cuba, the high ridge from, uh, goes to the northeast. Now you got a, a good trough up here in the, in the northwest. 
You have the sheer, uh, again, his last sheer off on the storm in 60 hours, and now it's in the Gulf, free to do as it wishes. And where it goes from there, the models really don't have track yet. But I'll tell you, the h Mon and the H-Wharf is thinking that they have some ideas of what could be happening with this storm, and it, it's showing uh, agreeance with what NOAA's information is. Now, this is Tropical Tidbits. If you can go to tropicaltidbits.com, anybody can go there and see this information. Now, this is what they show as far as the h Mon. Now, the h Mon shows that it goes over towards uh, southern Florida, and then when it cuts into the Gulf of Mexico, it starts intensifying. And it gets strong, guys. And then it cuts a, a sharp curve back to the right. And there's no steering flow right here. So it's, I'm not saying that this is what's going to happen because really all three models is showing three different things at this moment. But as you can see, it intensifies all the way to 959. All the way to a 959 Miller Bar Hurricane, guys. And that's probably close to a Cat 2 by that point on the verge of Cat 3. And then when it goes towards Florida... It gets down to 964, 966, and then 970 on landfall. And this is on Thursday, the 12th. And as it goes through, it stays a strong hurricane all the way to 980 millibars and goes all across central to northern Florida. Now here's the GFS model. I'm going to show you what the GFS is doing, and I put it on vapor so you can see the, where all the storms is going to be hitting because Bahamas, as you can see, is east side and north side loaded. So Florida and the Bahamas are going to be getting a lot of impacts of this rain as it comes and makes its turn into the Gulf. And then from there, it don't know where it wants to do. Euro shows one, h Mon, h Wharf shows, shows another. But the GFS shows that it don't go towards Florida, and it actually turns back and goes back towards the Yucatan. Now if you look right here with the wind shear for the GFS and see exactly what happens, you can see that it does get cut, cut loose, same thing as a Euro. It gets cut loose from the wind shear, then at this point, it can do whatever it wants. It gets in steers, the, the Euro shows that it gets swallowed up by the jet stream, gets pulled north, it's too high a winds, it rips it apart. The GFS shows that it tries to grab it, instead it gets energy right there from it, spins it, and it spins around towards the Yucatan. So we gotta wait and see, we really need more time I just wanted to put this information out to let y'all know exactly what's going on with the latest updates. And this is a pretty big update, guys. So God bless everybody involved in this impact, even if you're not a subscriber of mine. God bless you. I hope you'll be okay through this. Matter of fact, don't leave just yet, because I would like to pray for you. Psalms 28. Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my rock. Be not silent to me. Lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward thy holy oracle. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands, render to them their desert. Because their regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands, he shall destroy them and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because he hath heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, I, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song will I praise him. The Lord is, my, is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also, and lift them up forever. Amen. God bless you all tonight. hope you have a great night. I will update tomorrow morning. You know I will. And I'll let you know of the new guidelines, the new tracks, the new impacts. If you haven't been here, subscribe. Trust me, you'll love our community. We're a very loving and friendly community. And please share this video, guys. This is new information out. Wake people up. No, no, there's a possibility of a strong hurricane that could be coming. God bless you all. You have a great night. I appreciate you for checking in so late. All glory does go to God. Amen.